it's me. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey everybody, this is Jamelia Greenaway, your host for Beach Talk, your go-to show if you want to know what's up on the rock. For our latest updates, subscribe to our page, MNI Video 1 on YouTube. Hi everybody, welcome back to another beach talk here at the Wagwan Beach Lounge in Little Bay, Montserrat. I am Jamelia Greenaway, your host, and today I have with me Julius Morris, Montserrat's top athlete, if I may say so myself. Hi Julius. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Alright, so Julius is going to start off by telling us about his athletic career, how it began. Tell us. Well, basically my athletic career began in 2012 where I got a chance to represent Munchet at the Carifta Games where I didn't do that well but um, based on the exposure that I got to the Carifta Games I decided to continue to pursue track with attempts to possibly get a scholarship so that I can pursue a degree in the field that I'm trying to study and also pursue my track career in the United States. Okay, before I go into your field of study and so on, what I want to know is, well, you said you started in 2012, yeah. which means prior to that, you weren't really an athlete. You're like the rest of us, or like me. I can't run at all. <laughs> but from 2012, that is where it all started for you. Who, who is the person that helped you to recognize your talent? Well, there were actually a few people. Um that helped me to realize my ta talent in track and field and helped me to pursue that endeavor per se. Um, mainly, I would say my father and coach Wilson Scotland, um, those were two of the main contributors in terms of recommending that I pursue track. Okay, so Julius, I don't know if you watched Beach Talk before, but I had Lester Ryan here with me. AJ was also here, another athlete. Lester is the president of the Montserrat Track Alliance, a club that you are also a part of as an athlete, or was a part of. I'm not sure. Are you still a part of that club? Yes, I am. Okay, so the two of you are two young athletes, so is AJ, and Lester mentioned that AJ was under his wing, and he also mentioned that you two was once under his wing. I asked AJ how he felt about that, being that you're both young, and now I'm asking you, how do you feel about being under Lester's wing? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say that I was under his wing. Basically, we trained together. Um, as a track athlete, um, someone is going to always have the advantage being older, having more experience. So. Basically to say that I was under his wing would have been a bit extravagant. How it really is is that he had more experience and at the time he was faster. I basically had just started track and field so I was still coming up and basically him along with Alan Skerritt, um, the occasional Sherlin Burns, um, Alpha Diet, Shaquille Sam, um, basically, we would all go down to the field at the afternoons, we'd train, we'd compete against each other. Um, basically, what happened was that I began to gain, get faster. Um, Lester had a few personal injuries, um, um, I think he still has them to date. Um, during that time, I continued to progress, in which basically led me to the point where I am now. And that point is, would you say your Monsat's top athlete as it stands? I would say that, but don't be humble <laughs> if it is. And let us know what you think you are right now. Well, I would say at the current moment, I'm Monsat's top athlete. Um, being that I have um, two outdoor records in the 100 and the 200 meter, um, three indoor records in the 60 meter dash, the 200 meter dash and the 400 meter dash. Wow, okay. You have a lot under your wing. <laughs> okay, so 
what do you see happening for you in terms of your athletic career? Well, in terms of my athletic career, um, first and foremost, my main goal is to finish school with a degree, um, a bachelor's preferably, um, depending on the situation, the circumstances, a master's degree. And then I wish to go pro in track and field, hopefully signing to a big shoe deal or a company that is willing to sponsor me. Okay, so besides track and field, I know you have other interests. You're in school right now. So can you tell us what it is you're pursuing in school and some of your other interests besides track and field? Well, currently I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in architectural science. Um, I'm currently starting to venture into a master's degree in engineering technology management. Um, basically, architecture and track and field are basically my two passions right now, and that's basically my pursuit at the moment. So for those of you who only knew Julius as the athlete, soon enough we're going to know you as the architect or an engineer. Yeah, one, one the, in the same or? One, one of the two, depending on the okay. choice. Okay, all right. Now Julius, how do you feel in terms of being an athlete from Monsat? I mean we have artists and so on coming out of Monsat and their, their opinion is always that we don't support our own. As an athlete from here, what is your take on the support system in Montserrat or coming out of Montserrat and your career? Well, um, support wise, it's a bit up and down in Montserrat because I could personally say that there are a few good amount of local businesses and persons who've basically been support and helpful in terms of my career personally in helping me to pursue both my degree and my athletic career. But in terms of like major support and that support that can basically take Monshat's track and field environment to another level, I would basically say that that level of support is basically non-existent at the moment. But hopefully, you know, in the near future, I hope to see that change. All right, so you focused mainly on financial support. What about, you know, emotional support, that type of support? Don't you have that? Well, that's my bad. I probably forgot to mention to mention that, but that's actually one of the aspects that I've talked about in terms of like local support and that you know the encouragement from the community, um, whether it may be social media um, calls that I've gotten personally, um, just encouragement in terms of just continue what I'm doing, try to strive for my best, um, make myself, my parents, and my country country proud. I mean, in terms of that level of support locally, I've got gotten that basically a hundred percent and I'm truly grateful for it okay so is there anything else you want to tell us about whether it has to do with your architectural career your career as an athlete just your just you is there anything you want us to know about you um, well I wouldn't really say that at the moment but what I would like to say I would like to encourage like a lot of young people to basically use sports as like a pursuit to go further in life in that I didn't know for a while until a few people came and sit down and talked to me and told me that yes your talent can take you somewhere it can get you a degree it can get you opportunities um, and what a lot of people have told me um, the links you make while you're away from Manchet can help you a lot in the future and whereas I'm sure a lot of people are trying to apply for government scholarships um, and other financial aids around the island, your talent can basically take you, give you all those opportunities in one go. So I just want to encourage the young people of Manchester to use their talent the best that they could and try to seek the opportunities that it may give them. Okay, now that last bit you said, there are persons out there that look up to you. I want you to look at our camera and encourage our young persons to use their talent. <laughs> So yeah, basically I want to encourage the young people to use the talent that you have and try to make the best of it, see what, see what parts it may give you, see what roles it may take you. You never know, you can end up with a basketball scholarship, a track scholarship, um, whatever sports that you might pursue. Um, I know there are a lot of 
football scholarships out there in America, especially. Um, even down to a few months ago, the football coach from my school asked me, hi, are there any girls in Manchester that play sports with the same worth, work ethic that you, do, that you have? So I just want to encourage the young people to see what's out there, use your talent, and make the best of it. Words from Julius Morris, an athlete, a young person who we can say is excelling right now. So please, you can listen to his words over and over. You can do it. Use your talent. Become something in our community. All right. So that's basically it for us today, speaking with Julius. And we're so happy to have him on the program with us. And we do hope he can come back sometime in the future to tell us a little bit more about what he is doing in terms of athletics and in terms of his studies. Julius is all over social media. Follow him. I'm sure you have instagram you're on facebook follow him keep up to date with his career what he's doing in school and continue to encourage him it may not be financially but continue to send your kind words so that julius can continue to take monstrat from where it is and just take it even if it's just a little bit just an inch further All right now thanks for watching beach talk like our videos share our videos and just let the world know what's happening on Montserrat. See you next time. Hello, it's me. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey everybody, this is Jamelia Greenaway, your host for Beach Talk, your go-to show if you want to know what's up on the rock. For our latest updates, subscribe to our page, MNI Video 1 on YouTube.